So which signs and symptoms will help a provider distinguish between congestive heart failure and chronic obstruction pulmonary disease? Would it be A, cyanosis, B, wheezing, C, dyspnea, or D, dependent edema? Now, how many of you guys picked B, wheezing? I know so many people think COPD has to be associated with wheezing and or restricted flow, so it's going to be diminished. And they also think CHF has to be crackles or rails. Hmm. Now, with our CHF patients, depending on where that fluid accumulates inside the bronchioles, it can actually restrict flow and sound like a wheeze, and we call this a cardiac wheeze. Now, pay a close attention to that patient's assessment. We need to know, hey, do they have history of asthma? Do they have history of COPD? If they say no, you must think that this could potentially be cardiac. So pay attention to their, their past medical history. Look at their meds. If they are on cardiac meds and their blood pressure is high, we need to really sit down and think that this is possibly cardiac related. Now, there is one sign and symptom here, dependent edema that is only associated with CHF. Okay, remember, dependent edema is dependent on gravity. If your patient stands up and walks, they will have pedal edema. If your patient is bed bound, they will have sacral edema. COPD ears just don't get this type of sign and symptom. Okay, this is why D is the best answer here.